ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you Good morning guys, welcome to a new video. Today is an exciting one. We're rushing things, we're about 20-30 minutes late and we gotta drive all the way to the next town where we're gonna have a big, big adventure day. Not the greatest start. Good job. <laughs> I did it. You, were, you, held the, you held the gasoline so much in. <laughs> I guess that works. All right. Come on. Literally, it's so cold. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is our first time to see a sunrise. It's been been so late every night. Yeah, we've been editing until like between 1 and 3 a.m. each night, so it's been pretty hard to wake up for the sunrise. <laughs> Well, this one is beautiful! Yeah! Oh, rainbow! No, it's a rain Look at that! Rainbow and the sunrise! A little bit chilly, right guys? But we made it to the pier. We're not too late. The boat is here. Sir Ryan is gonna be our guide today. He's gonna take us to the ocean. I've been a fishing guy all my life. I said it before that all of my childhood picture, I'm holding a fish. So if you go through our photo albums, I'm always holding a fish. So fishing is something I really connect to uh, with me and my dad and my family. This is my element. Hopefully we're gonna catch some. I don't know if it's gonna be fly fishing net or we just drop a bait into the ocean, we'll see. But I'm excited, it's gonna be a long day on the ocean. <laughs> we brought sunblock with us and a little bit of snacks, we have a good time. What a beautiful day Charlene, sunrise coming over the hill. Just sleepy. <laughs> still sleepy? Um, not that really. See you, Felix. I'm It's a nice boat. Yep. Romeo wants to give you this one. Oh yeah, this is buffs. I like the pink. <laughs> <laughs> you want the pink? Yes, thank you. And then you. the this one has. Uh, oh, thank you so much. This one. Yes, yes. It's a, <laughs> we call it buff. I don't know what the name is here. You call it buffs? Uh, bandana. Bandana. Oh, just bandana. Yeah. Yeah. All right, off to the boat we go. Okay, oh, thank you so much. Where are we gonna sit down? Oh, it's a nice one. At the back. At the back. Looks like a new engine. Okay, bye bye. Ryan, we're gonna stay. See you around. See, guys, Felix already set up a bait. And you wonder what's gonna catch this one. It has to be a big fish. Big fish. If it's gonna catch this. How excited are you, Shelly? Actually, so much. 100%. <laughs> this is gonna be an epic adventure. And what a calm start of the morning. With the rainbow, beautiful. Oh, here we go. Engine and on. Off we go. Ryan. That's Ryan, he's the owner of Bizumi Tours here in Batanes, it's one of the better ones. And it just shows you the friendliness and the kindness of Ibatanes. Yes. Ibatanes. We asked them how much? How much for this Ryan? Nothing. 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 Zero. No pay. This is going to be an unforgettable yeah, experience. I mean. And we're actually really lucky with the weather today. It is calm and you see the ocean is kind of flat. That's a small island. We had a small sunset moment the other day. Beautiful. Oh, shout out to the person that who recommended us here. Ventana Manila. <laughs> it's going to be a long day of those, you guys. 
The line is already in. Is there something? Huh? Did you get something? No, you missed it. Ah, false alarm. Yeah. All right, we think we caught one, but apparently we lost it. So we're gonna check the bait. Notice first, guys, how he's uh, maneuvering the boat. It's not going in a straight line. It's going like in a S curve. Straight curve. He can even drive with his leg. Putting up a few baits to get prepared. That's a good sign. I think there's a lot of fish here. And the bait he's using is called flying fish. The one that jumps out of the ocean all the time. Phoenix is working his magic, putting up baits. And he told us, this line over here can carry 105 pounds, around 50 kilos. That's pretty massive. And the biggest fish that I've ever caught is a salmon, which was about 18 pounds or nine kilos. Now we got two lines in the water. I think he pulled it up because he, he saw that it wasn't floating correctly. I think he's checking if it's floating right on the water. If it creates like a little bit of splash, it's gonna make the fish more aggressive. That's my fishing experience talking, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you're alive. Uh, look at that fish. No! Oh. We want more. No, Kuya. <laughs> no. Babe, I don't feel good. Someone is seasick there. We are enjoying the fishing here. Look at that fish so big. Oh, sorry, fishy. Sorry, fishy. So we got one fish. Finn is there. I think she, I think he got seasick. Well, I'm awake, guys. I was just taking a small uh, sunbathing nap over there. No, guys, he got seasick. Rarely happens, but I don't know. Like I just got really seasick. We got a new captain. Everybody hold tight now. Everybody do their prayers. <laughs> yeah, we made it back to the port. They said um, one of the best um, for Kini Lao. Mm. All right, we just fell asleep after a pretty long morning. Woke up like 4 a.m., upload a video, post it, and then we went to the fishing thing. We got a little bit seasick, so it kind of exhausted us. So we had a long nap for the last two, three hours. And now it's, I think it's about Almost 5 p.m. I want to catch the sunset. We were gonna go to the Fountain of Youth, but apparently we crossed by it when we went to the beach or the cove the other day. So we decided to come up here to Marlborough Country, which is a little bit further up. We might have just found an amazing viewpoint. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Absolutely insane views here, guys. Why not? You start first. You first. No, first. Go roll down. Oh. Go. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> butterfly ocean? Yep, this is the butterfly orchid. It's a butterfly orchid. W what is it? Is it a butterfly or? Yep. This. this. It puts yeah, it. What is that? That is the place of another 
province. Municipal. <laughs> that is the islands of Itbayat. That's Itbayat. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're planning to go there after a few days. It's a coral island, guys. Pushed up from the ground. It's big with the Batan. Look at this view, guys. Where Anthony took us. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Well, the guys left us, they went back down. But instead, we got this beautiful sound of the crickets. Yeah. Try to make the same sound? I'll try. <laughs> Always practicing my Filipino pose. What was the name of it again? Ongo. <laughs> it's a nice nap because I'm leaning forward. <laughs> if I was flat, I would just fall back. <laughs> <laughs> we want to learn how to sit like a Filipino one. It's already painful after 20 seconds. <laughs> you need more practice then. Yes. But practice makes perfect, but nobody's perfect. And yeah, the two guys that just left, uh, they had some pretty interesting stories about their lives here. Yeah. They were teaching us how, how to plant ube. How to and plant ube. Tue. Huh? Tuge. Tuke and Tuge. ube. They invited us for Thursday, I think. Yeah, this coming Thursday, they're going to message us if they're going to be. They're going to teach us how to plant ube. And to think, they are the one who offering for that for us. Insane. It's so amazing. And also today we had two major incidents about the friendliness of the Iva Ivatans. I will call it as a hospitality. Hospitality. Yeah, yeah, hospitality. Being a local here in the Philippines, still how they treat people, being so nice, welcoming. And this morning we did a fishing. Yeah, it was an incredible morning. We invited to go fishing with one of them. Sometimes in the Philippines, you know, there's not 100% communication, so. Uh, I asked them like, okay, how much is it gonna cost? And they said, nope, not, not gonna pay anything. No. It's free. Yeah. And, like, and they didn't even ask me for any promotion or, yeah. or anything. They just like, yeah, join us. Wanted to have you with us and, you know, experience it. Like, okay, but I'm still gonna give you guys a shout out. Thank you so much, Bisomi Tour and Accommodation. Yeah, we'll put them in the de description. It's the only tour company that I can recommend to you here in Batanas mm -hmm. because I don't know anyone else. I only know about them because one of my followers messaged the owner and the owner, you know, I got in touch with him and, you know, he, he said you can join for the fishing today. That was amazing, though. That was a really cool experience. But someone gets seasick. And also, of course, these locals over here, they don't get more local. They're farmers here up in the mountains and we just stopped on the side of the road because we saw a beautiful viewpoint over there. Mm -hmm. And then he shouted at, at us, hey guys, yeah. come here, Let, let's go up this hilltop here. There's a better view. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I didn't expect that though. And once again, thank you so much for watching and tomorrow we're off to another island. We're going to... We'll see. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that my drone? Yeah, your drone is going back home. Oh, my drone is coming. It must be out of battery. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh my god, it's going down now. It's going down. It's actually coming. Yes, it's low back, guys. Until next time. Peace, Peace out. out.